this is Patriot Day, 9-11, and we're memorializing everyone who was involved in the 9-11 attack on the World Trade Center. The city of Pembroke Pines is going to have this ceremony memorializing that day. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light Oh, so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we wash were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land. Today, we are here again, remembering those that have passed and those that serve us in our country. We acknowledge those that are there serving us today. This morning when I read the paper, I read about a lieutenant coming home, Lieutenant Rakar. I'm going to try to make it my, my point, my position, to try to get a committee to welcome every returning vet. So I want you to work with me on that every time somebody comes home. We're going to do that. We deserve that. We deserve that. Okay. Vice Mayor, would you like to say something, please? Almost 3,000 people died on 9-11. Those of us who saw it unfold will always remember the indescribable horror of watching people leap from those slowly melting steel towers in a desperate but futile attempt to escape. Those who died were neither heroes nor patriots. They were ordinary people, even like you and me. They got up in the morning, they kissed their loved ones goodbye, they went to work, and they never came home. For me, and I suspect for all of you, those tragic events need no fancy name. They don't need any name. Simply hearing or seeing 9-11 will always evoke the memory of those horrifying scenes that flashed across our TV screens that fateful day. I will always remember, and I'm sure you will too, how can we forget? Thank you. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Commissioner Castillo? It's amazing to uh, consider that uh, 11 years 
has gone by. Uh, the events of 9-11. And 11 years later, we can now look back at that time and we can say, we knew where we were, we know how we felt, and that feeling sort of lasts and lingers. As Vice Mayor said, people got up to go to work that day. They said goodbye to their families, just like they did every day, and they weren't able to come home. A terrible event hatched by people whose goal was to break our spirit as a nation, to make some senseless, pointless statement, took those lives away and hurt us profoundly as a country. Now, none of those people are here today. I believe they're all in heaven. However, if we could talk to them, I believe that they would say, it's very nice that we have Patriot Day to remember this event. It's very, very nice that we have speeches and that we have beautiful monuments together with a piece of history, which I reached out to New York City to have because I wanted the children who sang for us to know that there was evidence that this actually occurred, physical evidence of that day. The children who sang for us today, many of them weren't born when this happened. And for years later, they will be able to look at this monument and they will be able to reflect on the horror of a day no different than if we go to uh, Oahu and see the, the, the terror of, of what happened uh, during uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor. But they don't want the monuments. They don't want the speeches. They're thankful for it. Let me tell you what I believe they want. And I knew a number of them growing up as children in New York City who are no longer around. I stay in touch with a number of those families even to today. They would want us to be patriots. They would want us to make sure that they did not die in vain, that the people that attacked this nation with the goal of, of making us less than who we were would not succeed. If American is against American, so long as we don't know how to disagree without being disagreeable, so long as there are divisions in our community, so long as some of us think that others of us are less fortunate or less worthy of being Americans, they win. So today and every day, remember that to be an American is to be committed to freedom, to be committed to liberty, and to be committed to that proposition that a more perfect union and the journey toward that never ends. We stand united even when we disagree. Otherwise, they have died in vain. That is the definition of being a patriot. Commissioner Seifel. I've heard speeches today about remembering. I've heard speeches today about all who were there and worked so hard to salvage what they could possibly salvage that day. And we do honor those, and we do appreciate everything that they've done. But I'd like to speak to you from a little bit of a different level, and that is to remember those families of those that were left behind. They suffer every single day, and they don't get to suffer in private like a lot of us do when we lose a loved one. They have to see it every single day on a nationwide basis. Somewhere, somehow, 9-11 is brought up and talked about. And I can often think about them and think that what another little punch to the heart that must be for them every single day when they hear 9-11 brought up. So what I would ask of us all today is certainly to not forget any of those that perished and any of those that gave their lives in, in helping to salvage what could be salvaged, and any of those that are still suffering horrendous, horrendous physical atrophies and problems because of what they actually dealt with, what they breathed in that day, how they were hurt that particular day, but still live on, but live in a horrible quality of life that they have. But I would ask you please to remember those families that are remaining and those friends that thought of those people as families, and each day think of them and say something in your heart that would help to lessen that everyday burden for them. I think that's how we can certainly as, as a community come together 
to help those folks that are here and still remaining, but who suffer every single day. Mr. Schwartz. 11 years ago, my wife was on her way to work, and she made a phone call. We were celebrating the fact that we just found out that we were going to have our first child. She calls me up and says, Jay, a plane hit the World Trade Center. Turn on the TV. I turn it on and I said, this can't be. I am a pilot. Nobody with that skill set could hit a building like that. Within a few moments, I saw the second plane hit. That day, that day brought our nation together. That day was about the children, the born and the unborn and the ones that were lost. There was a daycare center in the bottom of that building. My youngest son, who is now eight years old, was assigned a project for school, a poem I'd like to read to you. Stacy and I had nothing to do with the words that were written. Here is from an eight-year-old's thought. On September 11, 2001, our country was very sad. We were attacked by men that were very bad. And now, 11 years later, we are thankful for the police and firefighters and soldiers who make our freedom greater. Thank you and God bless America. Okay, commissioners, everyone, and uh, Pastor, we're going to take the wreath now over to the memorial. Commissioners. In commemoration of this very sad day, the city of Pembroke Pines, as always, does a phenomenal job in honoring our, our fallen and our, our men who serve. And you are the mayor of this wonderful city, so I want to congratulate you. Thank you. And uh, Elaine, you have said it so articulately, we will never forget. This city will never forget. No. We built this memorial, you know, it was controversial. But I, I wanted to get it done. The commission wanted to get it done. It's up. It's beautiful. We will never forget. And it'll be here forever. It'll be here forever for all. And I understand there's a plethora of people coming by every day to see it. And that's what we want. And you heard uh, several people talk about our young people who were not even born then. Right. They should never forget. And again, with our great police department, our great fire department, put themselves on a line every day for us and our great troops. It's just a pleasure to be here. Yep. What the world needs now is the sweet love. Not oh, just a song, but for everyone. This is Al DeLillo, one of our firefighters and one of the men who sacrifice every day. Thank you, Al, for all you do. And what do you think of today's ceremony? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those... Uh, things that's a tragic event but we try to make something positive out of it with the monument that they put up here um, so people can really appreciate it and we talked about the uh, the young kids that weren't even born when when you know the September 11th and we got to keep talking about it and we so keep they talking about forget. so they know and a piece of the a piece of the World Trade Center there so it's some a piece piece of history it's something to remember and the images are burned in our brains so uh, I, I know I'll never forget it in my lifetime so no, no um, uh, but it's a great event. It's nice to memorialize the people that lost their lives and the people that put their lives on the line every it's, day. It's another nice thing that the city of Pembroke Pines absolutely, does. Absolutely, absolutely. Our wonderful sculptor, Benoit Manache, who sculpted this 9-11 memorial, should be so proud today. It's the centerpiece of our day's 
celebra not a celebration of our memorial. You know, and I, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I had to do it because I love my country. And what happened, we should never forget. Absolutely. And uh, this is it. This is, uh, uh, we'll be here after I am gone. And we will have to tell them, nobody, nobody is going to nobody scare can us. Nobody can ever do that again. Nobody can do it again. And we will persevere in what we're doing for the goodness of our ben, country. every time I see your piece, I don't know whether I want to hug it or cry. It's that emotional for me. It does say a story. It does tell a the story. story of, uh, uh, the story of the shock when something happened like this that uh, you almost can't comprehend. We picked ourselves up, yep. even though we kept hurting, and we rebuilt. Go now in New York. Go look at this new building. Go yes. look. Everything is there in even better. So, you know, yeah. we can be proud. We can be proud well, of who we are. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you very much for sharing this memorial on, from 9-11 with us today. God bless America. Let